Hello and welcome to our first episode ever. We are in Sri Lanka, it's our first des destination. This video is just going to be telling you about what to expect when you're going through the airport at Sri Lanka and probably add in our first night at Dambula as well just for a little bit of interest. Now first thing to note when coming through the airport in Sri Lanka is that they did not check our visa at all. So do with that information what you will but we paid for the visas and nobody checked it and you can actually do it on the spot there so it probably might be worth might be worth doing that. Oh shit! Oh fuck me, she nearly crashed into the cow! <laughs> Second thing to note, do not get your SIM card or your money out or exchange any money until you get to the end of the airport. You'll find the best rates there. Third thing to note when getting your SIM card. We got the Dialog SIM cards. You get 50 gigabytes for 2,200 rupees, which is the equivalent of about four quid. Um, that's not survivor, isn't it? Fiver, wasn't well, it? £4.50, isn't it? Uh, oh, yeah, fiver. Of a fiver. So there you go, now stick that on there. Um, and. Hello! Hello! Hi, Carl. Hello! Hi. <laughs> what am I in fourth thing? Yeah. Fourth thing worth noting is that we got our cash out from the People's Bank ATM. That was, that did not charge us. I don't know if the others do. That one definitely didn't, so just go there. So the fifth point is, when you're in the queue waiting for a SIM card, I would recommend you wait for a SIM card before going ahead and getting, grabbing one of the taxi drivers uh, that will undoubtedly be coming up to you every, every few minutes asking you where you're going and if you need a taxi. Um, they, the, the price they quote you is, is going to be bumped up to around three times what it is. If you just check on Uber and then use that to your advantage to try and haggle down a cheaper price, that worked for perfectly for us and we managed to get it about three times cheaper to get to Dan Bula. Okay, so Dan Bula, great place. The people here are extremely friendly. It's a very welcoming place. I definitely recommend coming here when you first get to Sri Lanka. You get a real authentic feel. You can really see how they live in the country. And it's not very touristy. It's a really nice, friendly, relaxed vibe here. As you can see, it's, it's, uh, it's beautiful as well. Uh, it's bursting with wildlife out here. Like, I mean, we've, we've been here for a, a day now and we've seen snakes, exotic birds, a vole type animal, a bit like a weasel. Uh, a turtle, we've seen, we've seen uh, elephants, all sorts of stuff here. Um, so I would definitely recommend coming to Dambula when you first get here if you really want the authentic experience. Yeah. I think you were actually standing right there earlier. Back, back, back. One more. Yeah, back there. Looks right? Yeah. Okay. Now there are a few things to do in Dambula. Uh, if you're on a budget friendly sort of holiday uh, or trip, what I would say is the, main, the best things to do will be the Golden Temple being one. If you're, if you're into like wanting to go see the temples and the, the sacred places like that, then uh, that's real close to Dambula. Uh, that's, that's a good one to go to. There's Regala Forest Mountain Walk. That was actually really good unexpectedly good as well um, it was pretty cheap it was about 2,000 uh, rupees per person which is about four pound a person and then we also got a guide as well which did the guide for about two th another 2,000 so so all together was about six pounds fifty for the trip so for two people that's real cheap there's also two rocks here two rocks real close to each other you get the same view from both now, Sigiriya Rock is the main touristy one that people go to. Very interesting history with that. Um, it's like an archaeological site. An old king built a palace on top of this massive granite stone, and it's like a real, uh, it's really interesting place to go. Uh, the tickets for that are $30 per person. Out of our budget, really, I don't really want to spend that. There is an old cheap alternative, uh, literally about half a kilometer away from there. And that is Pidurangala Rock. Pidurangala Rock. Uh, that 
is you get exactly the same view and it only costs you know, 1,000 rupees per person. So about two, two pound, two pound 26 per person or so. Um, so it's, oh, well, it depends if you're, if you're into all the archaeological stuff, like the history in that. Um, it is, it's a really interesting site, Sigiriya Rock, but I think they really hiked the prices up quite a lot for it. Uh, so yeah, not my thing. Um, okay. Another thing that a lot of people do here is go to the ancient city, beginning with P, and I don't know what it is. We haven't been there, and that's $25 a person. So, Ponorankula or something like that, hold on. Now the trip we did was pretty much uh, Pitarangala Rock, Pitarangala Rock, Regala Forest, and the Golden Temple. They're the three main things we did. And obviously walking down to the lake is not too far from our accommodation. That brings me on to the next point. We stayed in two different places. One was like low end budget and one was sort of mid range for this sort of area. The first night cost us 11 quid, 5,000 rupees. We got quite a nice room for that. You got air con, you had, we had um, clean facilities. The, the bed was extremely comfortable. We had breakfast included as well. Uh, great breakfast and then last night and tonight we're staying in somewhere lower lower end budget uh it's called robert in dambula now again great place to stay robert's a great guy cost us about three pounds for a night so you know what do you expect for three pounds a night now the you have a shared bathroom with that you have uh air con in the room um the, the only negative to this place the only negative is the bed is not very comfortable it's quite loud if you move around a lot at night you might be waking yourself up I so that's uh, that's our time in dambula i hope you enjoyed it like subscribe comment if you want if not all good doesn't matter peace out the background as well all right dogs and the cows are gonna fight are going for it. Oh shit. Alright, it's all going on. Okay, where was I? <laughs>